Hello guys, we are moving with our second chapter that is the structure of an atom. I already told you this chapter will explain all about an atom. When we are moving with the study of an structure of an atom, we already studied about some uh, models like uh, Thomson model and the force model, but they are fails to uh, explain some facts about the structure of an atom. Then we are moving with the Bohr's model and atom. Before going to study about the Bohr's model and atom, he uh, take some points which are developed and lead to the structure of a model of a Bohr's atomic model. Then what are that points? I already told you in a previous class that is about the dual nature of an electromagnetic radiation and next the atomic spectra. In the dual nature of an electromagnetic radiation, we already studied about the wave nature of a electromagnetic radiation. I already told you dual means double and the electromagnetic radiation is behave like a waves and as well as a particle. In a previous class we have studied detailed about the wave nature of the electromagnetic radiation and uh, the electromagnetic radiation spectra and all about this. Next in today's class I wish to discuss about the particle nature of an electromagnetic radiation. So how the electromagnetic radiations are behave like a particle, when they are behave like a particle. So see here, if we, you take a one object or you take a one matter, it absorbs or it emits some radiation. It absorbs or it emits some radiation when they are interacted with a certain content of a light then atoms or an objects interacted with a radiation then what happened they emits or they absorb a certain amount of a radiation then what happened there I exam I explain by one example so see here it is an object when it is interacted with a radiation or with interacted with a light or if you hit this object then what happened some amount of radiations are some amount of radiations are emitted from this object or some objects when interacted with the radiations these objects absorb the some amount of absorb the some amount of radiation then what happened this absorption or emissions takes place when the emitted radiations are behave as a particle when absorption radiations are behave as a particle so see here whenever electromagnetic radiation interacts with a matter whenever electromagnetic radiations are interacts with a matter emission or absorption of radiation takes place in the form of a particle in the form of particle once i wish to repeat here you take two objects if you heat these objects or if you interact some uh, this matter with some radiation some electromagnetic radiation then what happened these objects emits the radiation in the form of a particle and this objects absorbs the radiation in the form of a particle and next the emission or absorption of radiations takes place in a discontinuous manner in a discontinuous manner so see here when the electromagnetic radiations are emits and uh, these are propagates then what happened in the form of a wave they are propagate in the form of a wave so see here in the form of a wave wave is continuous manner so waves are in a continuous manner there is no interruption no disturbance in between that waves but in the particle manner the radiation takes place discontinuous manner for example uh, this is these are the radiation and emits in the form of a particle then how they are emits in discontinuous manner in discontinuous manner so like this these are the 
electromagnetic radiation in the form of a particle they are in discontinuous manner but waves are not a discontinuous manner they are a continuous manner so see what happened emission or absorption of radiation takes place when the emission takes place or absorption takes place then what happened the particle nature of the electromagnetic radiations are in discontinuous manner and next each particle is packet of energy he said each particle the emitted or absorption radiation in the form of a particle and that each particle is called as an a packet of energy packet of energy and this packet of energy is called as an a quantum so see here each particle of an electromagnetic radiation which is emitted or which is absorbed in the form of a particle so each particle is a packet of energy so this packet of energy is called as an a quantum if this particle or this radiation in the in case of an visible light or in case of an visible reason i already told you told you in a previous class electromagnetic spectrum uh, we are having a many types of an reasons according to their wavelength and frequencies so like that in that visible reason or in a visible light in case of these particles are present or in case of these radiations are present then that particles are called as an a photon so once i wish to repeat here each particle is a packet of energy and that packet of energy is called as in a quantum if these particles are in a visible light then they are called as a photon so see here the energy of each quantum so how much energy is have each particle have how much of energy or the quantums have how much of energy see here the each particle or each particle or energy of each quantum is equals to h mu this much of energy they are having and next what is the sch here h is our planck's constant constants h is our planck's constant and the value is and the value is 6.6 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second so this is the value of planck's constant nu is a frequency so energy of each quantum or the packet of energy have how much of energy e is equals to h mu this much of energy and next the energy of radiation is quantized the energy of this radiation is quantized so what is the meaning of quantized here so what is the meaning of quantized here? i wish to explain about some example if you have a coin if you have a coin if you have a or we have seen the 1 rupee coin 2 rupees coin we don't have a 3 rupees coin we don't see the 3 rupees coin and next we don't see the 2.5 rupees coin we don't see the 500 rupees coin just coins are restricted to some values like a 1 rupees 2 rupees 5 rupees 10 rupees 20 rupees so like this they are having their certain values so like this the energy of radiation is quantized mean only certain value of energy is allowed only certain value of energy is allowed so see here coins are quantized means 1 rupee coin a coin is allowed 2 rupee coin is allowed 2.5 rupee coin is not allowed certain values of coin is allowed like this the certain values of energy is allowed then what happened we can say as quantized may the energy of radiation is quantized mean only certain value of energy is allowed for example so see here this value is 3 h mu and this value is 5 h mu and this value is 6 h mu but we don't have we can't have 3.5 h mu value 
and we can't have 8.7 h mu value so just we are having very certain values and that certain values of energy is allowed this meaning is called as an a quantized so this is called as an a quantized the and next energy values exact meaning so exact meaning of quantized means the energy value should be integral multiple of an h mu integral multiple of an h mu like a uh, one h mu two h mu so like this so this is the meaning of an quantized so this is the way of uh, radiations behaves as a particle in a nature this is the way of the radiations so behaves as a particle nature and it is proved by planks it is proved by the scientist planks planck's quantum theory and it is proved by a uh, main two experiments like a black body radiation and photoelectric effect next we have to see about that two experiments of what are the experiment of black body radiation how black body radiation and what is the experiment about the photo electro uh, photoelectric effect by that experiments how we now the particles are in a sorry the radiations are in particle nature black body radiation what you mean by black body here a body which is absorb or which emits all kind of radiation such body is called as an a black body radiation so see here black body is nothing but a perfect body or an ideal body a body or a matter can absorb or emit all radiations is called as in a black body and what do you mean by the black body radiation so radiation which are emitted by the black body the radiation which are emitted by the black body is called as in a black body radiation black body radiation so see here the experiment we can take one object a perfect example for a black body is iron iron is an example for a black body when we have to start the heating this black body or heating this iron rod when what happened it emits or heat it heated and emits certain kinds of a radiations so see here when we have to start the heating then what happened it turns to a light red color it turns right uh, light red color and again the heating will be heating will be increases or continuously we supply to the heat for this object again it is heated gradually then it turns a dark red a dark red we are increasing we are increasing the heat then what happen it turns to orange it turns to orange in a color again and again we are gradually increases our heating supply we heat this object continuously in a very high range of heat then what happen it turns white it turns white in color then again increasing the heat then what happen to this object the blue flame will becomes and then it turns to a blue color so observe here when we are started to heat initially in a low heat in a less heat it seems to a red in color to us and then what happened gradually we are increasing increasing that heat capacity then it turns a dark red orange red white and lastly blue <coughs> now we have to plotted a graph when a graph of intensity versus lambda is plotted already you know that the lambda and uh, frequency relationship when frequency is high when frequency is high the lambda or wavelength is low already you know in a by plotting a graph we know clear point about the 
particle nature of a radiation. So, in this side intensity I mentioned here intensity. Intensity increases obviously energy has also increases and here I take a lambda 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 1200 etc. So, what happened here slowly the wavelength is decreases slowly wavelength is decreases intensity will be increases and again it will be decreases and next take another point then also same the uh, wavelength decreases intensity increases again intensity decreases so see here when the wavelengths are continuously not continuously decreases and intensity not continuously increases a certain point the wavelength is decreases and intensity is increases and certain point the intensity decreases so by observing this graph we now the particles are not continuously emitted by this black body radiation sorry by this black body so see here if the waves are continuous in nature if waves are continuous in nature then how the graph will come so like this like this if lambda is uh, decreases then intensity is continuously increases but here not happened like this here how the graph will become uh, observe here the some point the some point the wavelength will be decreases with increases in intensity and some point again intensity will be decreases so in a certain points the energy the energy absorb or emit some certain values of a radiation uh, sorry certain values of an energy what i said the energy is quantized so th this two point is this two point will be proven by this graph the particles are not in a continuous manner they are in discontinuous manner and the particles are quantized means certain kind of an energy are allowed that's why the graph will uh, increases in a certain point and decreases in a certain point so by this graph we can prove the particles the emitted particles are not in a continuous manner the emitted particles are or the emitted radiations are in discontinuous manner the particles are in discontinuous manner so that discontinuous manner radiation says that the radiation is in the form of a particle that radiation is in the form of a particle and that particles are quantized means that particles are allows a certain kind of a energy means somewhere decreases and somewhere increases so this is all about the black body radiation by this experiment we know that the electromagnetic radiation when emits from the object they are in particle nature and they are discontinued in manner and they are quantized in our next class i will come with a photoelectric effect and that experiment also says the electromagnetic radiation are act like particle in a nature